Insecure Season 5, Episode 2. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Ree and I typically make fashion and lifestyle videos, but I needed to review Season 5, the final season of Insecure because it's my favorite show. So let's get right into Episode 2. Okay, so it starts off a year later from where we left off last episode, and Issa is booked and busy. She is fully busy, her schedule is packed, and it's really cool to see. She has now 10,000 followers on Instagram. She's, she's doing her thing. So it's really nice to see her growing and to see that all of her hard work is paying off. Also, if you hear any noises, my little pup is right here. You can't see him, but he's just laying right beside me, so if you hear anything, Anyways, so we also see that Issa and Molly are good. They're good, it's been a year, they've been working on their friendship and it's really, really nice to see that Molly is being a supportive friend to Issa. In every scene, she's like there, she's rooting her on, she's just, she just being supportive. So it's just so refreshing that they're both, you know, doing their thing, they're both in their careers and they're thriving and you know, they have an actual normal healthy friendship right now, which every relationship goes through their ups and downs and so it's nice to see them back on the ups together. Okay, so we see Issa giving a presentation about Penchon. She wants him to work with her clients and they've been working through it for a bit and he is a designer and wants to do a fashion show. So you guys have watched it so I don't need to get into all the details. They are kind of hesitant bringing this new designer on and then when um, Issa talks to Molly about that later, it's interesting because Molly's just like, they want experience, but then they don't give us the experience. So how are we supposed to get experience to do bigger things? So I really love that because it feels like that. Like when you're fresh out of school and then you're trying to look for a job and they're like, what is your experience? And you're like, I have none. I just finished school, but like, hello, I need... How am I supposed to get the experience? So I thought that was really interesting. But she's doing her thing, she's negotiating, she's speaking with clients, she has to go back to her client too and tell him what's going on. So she she's doing her thing. Also, can we talk about how good Molly looks with her new haircut? She looks good, she looks fresh, I love it. It's like nicely lined up, it, her hair looks healthy. I'm just like here for her new hairstyle. Also, we see that her parents are kind of pressuring her, well, her mom is pressuring her to meet somebody. Molly's just taking her time. She's just trying to concentrate on herself, but her mom's like not playing around. She's just like, meet this guy Herbert or something. Herbert? Meet Herbert, like hang out with him, whatever. Molly's definitely not interested. He seems pretty clown-like. And um, yeah, so that was kind of a miss. And then in another scene, we see that um, Molly and Issa are talking about Herbert. So Issa's like, show me a pic. He's probably not that old. And Molly shows her the pic and Issa's just like, his daddy cute, but show me him. And she's like, his daddy cute, but show me him. And I was dying because that's like, that is him, Issa. That is him. And she was just like, not about it. She's like, no, he's just not it. And then we see Molly working on her dating profile. She wants to get back into dating. So she's like seeing what she had filled out before, I guess, Andrew. And she's just thinking like, oh my gosh, I was doing the most. So now she's trying to like have new expectations and just work on her new dating profile. So we're gonna see how that goes. I personally think that the guy from the first episode, I can't remember his name, but I think he's going to be coming back in, of course. I wonder if Drew, does anybody remember Drew? I wonder if Drew's gonna be coming back in too. Like I wonder if they're just gonna have all these characters from the first four seasons, like just making small appearances. That would be interesting. Oh, I didn't mention, but it was so funny when we see that Issa was trying to meet with the guy's boss and then the woman brought the guy along too and Issa's just like, what is going on? Like, you know, she wasn't expecting that. So I thought that was kind of funny, but that's how it works sometimes. Like you, sometimes you can't be so sneaky, like it comes back up, but like she was able to negotiate her way and like get the guy Crenshaw who Kofi, Kofi, I don't really have many celebrity crushes. This guy's young though. Kofi's young though. But he, ooh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He, he looks good. He looks good and he just came out with his beard with a mm, 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 Kofi. 
So anyway, so she was doing all of that for Kofi. So now let's cut forward. It's his big show. They cut out, they made a few notes. They cut out a bunch of stuff from his show. And then he decides, no, I'm not doing that shit. Like I am doing the show how I wanted to. And luckily it works out nicely and it all works out and the guy loves it. So that's fine. So then Issa decides, let me call up Nathan because her and Nathan have been in communication. I guess his um, barbershop is having a little party for the one year. So she calls up Nathan because like I said, they've been in contact and he comes over, they have some drinks and then um, Nathan's voice though. Like who has voices like that? His voice just hits different. I just, oh, I love it. But anyway, so they're chatting and now Nathan's ready to go home. Issa says, why don't you spend the night? He says, okay, bet. So then they're like having some fun and then Issa starts crying. She starts crying and at first I'm like, what is going on? Like, is it because of work? Like, did you not think that went well? But then she's just like, I thought I was ready. Like, I thought I was ready. And then you realize it's because of Lawrence. She still, she misses Lawrence. Lawrence obviously has his baby now because it's been a year. So he has his baby. It seems like they haven't been in contact at all. And she probably hasn't been with anybody else. And she thought maybe her first time, you know, back in the game was going to be with Nathan because she feels comfortable with him. But... That did not work out. She misses Lawrence and we're going to see what happens with that. Nathan, I think he feels a bit used, like he was like a tester or something. And he's thinking like, he's like consoling her, but you can tell by his face that he's just not into it. He's thinking, why did you do this? Because remember, Nathan still, it seemed like um, at the end of last season that Nathan still had feelings for Issa, like real feelings for her. And Issa was the one that's just like, I'm back, I'm back with my ex. So like, this is just strictly a friendship. So Nathan has been dating, but I think he still has like a special spot in his heart for Issa. So Issa also just looks so good. Issa and Molly, my Crave account after this episode, it went back to the first episode, like season one. And I just saw like a picture of Issa and Molly and like just to see how they've grown throughout these past six years. It's been six years, so obviously they've grown, but they just are looking very good. They look very good. But yeah, I enjoyed this episode. They're kind of really trying to develop the whole story and like also bring the story together, close off this whole chapter of Insecure. So it was good. I kind of wish I waited and watched the whole season together because waiting these weeks and stuff is kind of like too much. But we're going to see what happens in the third episode. So subscribe if you haven't. If you like this video, like, comment, and I'll see you next week. Bye!